right guys, what's up? And this video is talking about how to create better films for YouTube or basically anything you're doing. If you're someone who makes videos, YouTube already you're making about makeup, cooking, this video to help you all how to make better videos like this one, get better quality, even if you don't have big end cameras or, or, or an iPhone or 11 Pro Max or S20, you know, all that rubbish. This video is for you guys. And we're gonna start with tip number one, which is avoid filming indoors. Now, when I say avoid filming indoors, you can see that this is a bright sunny day. Pretty quiet, so I'm lucky because usually it's pretty loud where I stay. Anyway, okay, when you film outside, it's, it's brighter, the sun and nature creates, it brings out the natural skin tone of a person and the video obviously just looks pretty cool. Inside, where it's going to be noisy and the video will start looking like this, it will start looking very choppy, it will start looking very, you know, that ghosting look, that look, it's because you're filming indoors and because your camera, your phone, whatever you use to film, doesn't get enough light, so therefore it looks like that. So therefore it makes the video look more amateurish, especially when you film outside, and well, if you're filming inside, if you do have like a, like a ring light or a soft box or any form of external lights, it's that's, that's bright enough to illuminate your videos, then you can get away filming inside. But if you do not, avoid filming inside. But that brings us to tip number two that is scripting your videos. It's simple something. You, you, you don't literally have to type every word you're going to say in the video. I mean, that's it's, it's unnecessary. Like a short guide on what you're going to talk about, what you're going to say, you know, to make the video shorter or make it more intuitive. The video more easy, it makes it more professional, it makes everything sound better. So, like, instead of you, maybe in the video, maybe you want to talk about something, instead of spending like the video is supposed to be 10 minutes, 5 minutes, maybe you're going to spend 30 minutes talking, confuse you, forget what to say, you just But when you have a small guy like me who does photography, cinematography, who videos, you script the videos on the shots you want to get so that when you get to that shoot you, you don't just start taking videos of random stuff you know and enter the computer and just start piling it up you, you don't know what to do just random stuff there's, there's no context to the video when you script it you know okay i want to get this i want to get that i want to get this so you now describe how those shots seems and it's more efficient it's better so please script that brings us to tip number three which is learning how to do basic editing for example i know many people that do videos but like when i watch the videos i'm, I'm like it's boring again yeah, because most times you just most people they just film it in one take the video of like 10 to 15 minutes they'll just film it once and like same thing there's no nothing they just film it once and they forget they make mistakes you get it's point when you want to do a video you, you should know how to edit that video instead of just film on your phone youtube it's it's not right like it's not no that's not right it's not proper it's not it's not mm, you know there's no yeah but when you know to edit you can there are many phones there are many phones there are many apps you can use to edit either on your PC, your Mac, or your iPhone, your Android, the mini apps, I will leave them in the link below. If you may pro, After Effects, Rush, available on Android or iOS store, you can, or you can get them on PC. Adobe Premiere Pro, if you're someone that wants to do just basic editing, I would prefer you get Adobe Premiere Rush over Premiere Pro, because Premiere Pro is like, it's actually a professional video editing app, they, they, this is for movies, so like, it might seem like, what the hell am I looking at, at first, or like, Premiere Pro is simple, it's busy just for cut, join music, add music, you know, basic. That stuff you can, uh, you want to do. It's easier for you to do that on Premiere Pro. Like, if you want me to talk about, I'll teach you guys the basic or the tips on how I get efficient, how I do all this I'm doing right now. Leave a link, leave a comment, leave a link, leave a comment down below, and I will to make a video about that. Right, and that brings us to tip number four, which is getting a comfortable workstation. What is a workstation? A workstation is basically the laptop or the phone you use to edit. Now, for example, if you get tip one, tip two, tip three. Now, if you do not have a, a workstation, a laptop or a PC or phone that could edit those things, like it's all gone. Like you know, maybe you're using a very small laptop or a phone. Your phone can do that. Your phone gets pretty hot, rubbish. You cannot really edit those things. Like. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying 
to your parents to come start buying the laptop. So, you know, you can just at least get something that you know can handle. They don't have to crack your head every single time when you're trying to edit those things because, like, that's a pain in the ass. You know, when you want to you can't edit it because, like, you're just like, hmm. So like, get a comfortable position. Like the PC I use, I use it. Yes, it's, it's my PC. We'll talk about that later. But like, I use I use for editing. I use it for gaming, um, editing. But if you can, I recommend getting a gaming PC or just get a laptop that has a discrete graphics card. Nvidia AMD, not Iris Plus. No, Nvidia AMD. All right, guys. And that brings us to our final, I mean, not final, a bonus. A bonus, a bonus, a bonus tip, a bonus recommender, a bonus whatever. Get a camera, get a DSLR, DSLR, digital single lens reflex. Now, even if your phone, maybe your phone is so good in videos or it's so clear, like a camera, your camera sensor, your phone sensor, and the camera sensor is much big. If you want to do a video on talking about the difference between an iPhone or your phone camera and an actual camera, comment below and I'll tell you guys about that. But I recommend getting the camera because the camera has generally has more dynamic range, it has better video quality, it makes a good lens on it, it has better video quality, it renders, it's clearer, it's cleaner, you can color grade better than your phone because phone is basically point and shoot, you just take it out and shoot. But the camera is not meant for that, it's meant for you to tweak it to your to your style, to your point, to your what you want it to be. You can do that with the camera, it's easier with the camera. So like get the camera, get the mic and you can go. That's just that. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys. God bless you. God bless you, God bless me, God bless the world. God bless our God bless everybody, God bless my mom, my dad, your family, everybody, get by, bye, bye. Yeah.